Hello, my stitchy lovelies. Clun Stitch here, back for another update. And have you ever had those weeks where it feels like it's been, oh, sorry, I keep knocking the table, where it feels like it's been like a month, but also yesterday? It's been one of them. It seems like a lot's happened over an exceptionally short amount of time. Certainly most of it is life stuff that's happened, not like crafty stuff, slash activity stuff. And as I'm sure you've noticed, um, I've got new types of videos on the channel. Feel free to check them out, Mommy. feel free not to, it's up to you. Um, but it has actually been rather interesting with them. Because it's not just on here that I'm putting up the new content, I'm also putting it up on Instagram. And on YouTube. The floss tube stuff is doing way better than the other stuff, but it's the other way around on Instagram. Go figure. Yeah, we may be getting some background noise because as you can see the little mess is right there. Making a massive mess. I'm trying to encourage her to not use bottles anymore, so she's making a mess when she drinks. But all part of growing up, right? She's got a new tablet case, so she's very happy. She killed the last one. So yeah, back again. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a different angle from last time. Like, same position, just different angle. So you get to see more of my living room. And also a different camera. I don't actually, God, sorry, I keep knocking the stupid table. I don't actually know what the sound quality is like on this one, so hopefully it's gonna be okay. But the picture quality does seem to be a bit better. I can at least hold stuff up to the camera and it won't be blurry as hell, see? Which is definitely an improvement on the old one. So, shall I crack on with the stitchy goodness? Wait, how? Yeah, I'll take the glasses off. They're a bit glary, aren't they? So, shall we start off with what I put in the thumbnail for the last video? Oh, and I've learned how to do thumbnails. Check me out. So, as I said last time, I'm only going to do three days of like my 100 stitchy stitching and then try and do beloved in the evening. Oh, darn it, drop that. So, so we're king on this little monster. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna have to deal with that. I can't see the screen because the computer screen is actually further away from me now. But yeah, I was working on this one. Oh, that is beautiful and clear. Sorry, gotta have my nerd moment. Because I did somewhat begrudge having to buy a new camera because I hadn't long bought the previous one, but it just wasn't up to it. And this one was actually like 50% off. So, yay. But yeah, this is where I got up to. All one color, you can definitely tell it's gonna say Merry Christmas. And it's got a nice little wooden charm that you can sort of see. <laughs> So that's going to be fun to add on at a later date. Next, I say next, I'm a bit, it's what order I did these in. Because like I say, it feels like it's been a long week. <sighs> Just had to re-angle stuff because the camera fell down. Or not the camera. I got one of those little circular lights, it's got like a little tripod to it. And the tripod bit's not that great. You look at it too hard and it slips. And it slipped. But hey ho. So next, hopefully this will show up through the plastic, okay? Yeah, that shows up fine. Got to stitch your cares away, which to be honest has been somewhat poignant because I'm not gonna lie, my anxiety has been sky high lately. Like, I couldn't get to sleep till past five last night, 5 a.m. because my anxiety was just too high. I don't know why, I don't know why. 
because it's not like there's some big event coming up that's triggering me or anything. No. Which actually makes it more annoying, you know? If you could pin down like a trigger, then it'd be like, fair enough it's because of X. And then maybe I can do Y and Z to make it better. But when it's because of, you know, the good old, because life sucks, it's like, hmm. Oh. You know, you just gotta grin and bear it. Keep calm and stitch. Much I'd rather go with keep calm and. <laughs> you ever find that sometimes just moaning about a situation does actually help you to feel better? Sadly, it doesn't make you look like a moaning myrtle, but sometimes you just need to vent, you know, express, emote. <laughs> anyway, um. Which way around does this go? That way, I think. I think it goes that way. That's what 100 odd stitches looks like. Really boring right now, huh? But it'll start looking like something soon. I hope. Mind you, God knows when I'll next work on it, so. <laughs> Then, well actually I worked on this one before that one, slightly out of sequence, but mm. I'm trying to find the can be the care and I'm struggling with it. Sorry. Which I'm being honest. Really, does it really matter what order I actually did them in? Oh, there goes the chair. Oh yeah, I may shrink as the video goes on. Thank god my back's not playing up. Cause like when it does it in little increments like that it can be quite jarring on the back sometimes it will just go smoothly down so you barely even notice it and sometimes it's like dung 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 like it's doing right now tell you what okay so this teapot design you sort of see it there to be honest the colours in the kit look quite different to the colours in the example photos Like, that is significantly paler to what was in the photo, which is... This outer blue here. Like, it looks very blue there and it looks quite green here. Don't know if the camera's showing that, that up. But yeah, that made it a bit tricky when I was working out which colour I need, because I'm like, this, is, this don't look right. But it did actually say what's inside your kit, like the number of strands, and there's only two colours in the kit that has three strands. I don't know, one colour in the kit. No, yeah, I was right first time. Two colours in the kit that had three strands, so that made it a lot easier to work out which one I actually wanted. So, that's them. Um, I would like to say that I was really good at sticking to working on Beloved every night, but I wasn't. Yay. I uh, got a good few nights in there, and I did over my 100 minimum. Big part of the problem was... Orange. Oh, when it has been my anxiety keeping me up at night, it's been her and him. I will tell me. It does sometimes feel like the universe has got this conspiracy against me when it comes to sleep. Like I say, I say anxiety sky high. I wasn't going to sleep for anything short of like um, anesthesia. <laughs> uh, previous night, the little boy just would not settle. Every two seconds, he was awake and warranting. And the night before that, it was the two of them. Get him settled, she'd go. Get her settled, he'd go. And it's like. <laughs> One. The joys of parenting, right? Oh yeah, to any parents out there who've made it this far, in the comments, what was something that you said you wouldn't do when you were a parent back before you had kids? You know, back when you were stupid and thought that parenting was easy. Because there's so many things that I said I wouldn't do, like um, 
if I'm out in a restaurant, I feel so bad because I have actually like thrown filthies at people for doing this. You know, back when I was stupid and didn't know better. I wish I could go back in time and like slap myself silly for it and go over to the table and apologise. Um, but like when you're in a restaurant and you'll see someone who's uh, given the phone to the little kids while they're waiting for food. I was like, oh that's so bad, you've got to teach the kid to sit there and enjoy the meal as a family and it, it's like, no, no, no. In reality, yeah. that child is not going to wait for the meal. You need some form of entertainment. And yeah, it'd be better if it weren't a screen. But nothing works better than Coca Melon. If I give her a pen or a pencil or whatever, you know, something to colour with, what? it will not just be the bit of paper in front of her, she will colour, she will colour everything. It's still not the greatest, but in all honesty, would you rather a child sat there quietly watching a video with the volume only just loud enough for her to hear it, so it's not like disturbing anyone else, or would you prefer a screaming head off? I know which one I'll go for. So, what things did you guys have? Anyway, back to stitching. I was like, determined I was going to say a bit more on point in this video because I'm really bad at just wandering off. So, no, I'm going to say on point, I'm going to focus, I'm going to impress my little self. No. <laughs> um, anyway, beloved, and I can't see what you can see, so hopefully it is good. I would stand up, but for me to push the chair back so I can stand up, I might hit her, so, you know. So, working within the hoop again. I'm really getting this area filled in quite nicely. Me! It is actually filling up relatively quickly, considering that there is still quite a few colours in there. It does seem to be going quite well. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But I really could do going back and... Uh, where are they? Like these waist knot bits? Well, waist stories, whatever you want to call them, the tails. I need to go back and cut them because they're getting in the way. And of course, on areas like the previous page, where I've quite clearly finished the page, I'm not going to go back and stitch. I can definitely cut them off there. Should have, would have, could have. No, it's like the good old, just because I can doesn't mean I should. Also goes with, just because I should doesn't mean I will. <laughs> So yeah, I like you saying yeah a lot, don't I? Yeah. Um, I managed to get that far with my stitching for today. Certain little boy always like, mommy, mommy, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. I'm like, can you give me five seconds and get out my face? Um, something that I do need to mention is my dad's coming back to stop with me for a while so videos are going to get interrupted again i'm going to try and upload as much as i can but no promises absolutely no promises whatsoever on when i'll manage it so just assume i'll be back at some point oh for a big long stretch what are you doing mommy yes dear mommy yes dear Mummy! I'm trying to bribe her with chocolate milk. Which just means that my carpet's going chocolatey. Actually, right now she's pouring it into a bowl. Well. Yeah. Uh, some of it into a bowl. Oh yeah, so there's some stuff that I'm going to be able to upload even with my dad being here because I have actually got a bit of a backlog of certain stuff 
slash it just needs editing. Um, so certain things I will be able to upload fairly easy, certain things. But I'll do what I can, because after all, all that we can do is the best we can with what we have. You're waking up. Are you waking up? Hey, are you waking up, my cutie little boy? Well, you can go back to sleep because you haven't been asleep that long. Snore, my dear, snore. Snore, my pretty snore. Ah, <sighs> life. So, um, I'm actually trying to work out where to move my stitch spot to because part of the reason why I keep struggling to work on Beloved is I tend to leave that till yeah. the evening yeah. when quite often there's a little miss stretched out on the sofa and I don't really want to disturb her yeah. so I'm moving my stitchy spot I have no idea where to yet but I'm moving it probably around here so I've got a, a chair here that I can use for my Lowry stand to help hold it in place. So that's the only thing that I don't like about the Lowry stand. You do need a counterweight. The only thing is I like to sit cross-legged when I'm stitching and there isn't room in this chair. I need an armchair, really. So I'm going to try it a bit harder to work on Beloved every night. Still gonna, I think I'm gonna stick to three days of stitchy stitch, two days of wall, and two days of puzzles, even though I have been doing slightly more in the puzzle range. The thing is, when she's taking over the sofa and I can't get into my stitchy spots to work on Beloved, I've been doing jigsaws instead. Not really sure what I'm gonna work on when it comes to the 100 stitches a day bits see what happens. Today is this one though. Got to put it down on a needle though because this is another one that did come with a needle. And I can just about manage to get stitching done in between dancing around children, making sure that they don't swallow needles and stuff. So I'll do what I can. Well, seeing as he's waking up, I better go skedaddle. As always, it's been a pleasure, not a chore. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks again. Bye.